Okay. Um, so this one's on the practice exam. It says propose a mechanism to account for the following reaction. Please show the structures of the intermediates and using curved arrows indicate the electron flow in each step. So all of that subsequent information is just saying this is how a mechanism works. So if you don't remember what that word means, that's what you're doing. Okay? So showing electron flow in each step, showing all transition states, all that stuff. Well, anyways, I guess I just erased it, but it said HBr and diethyl ether. Okay, so diethyl ether in that case here, I'll re rewrite it. HBr, diethyl ether. It is diethyl ether, that's just the solvent. Okay, nothing, it doesn't do anything in the reaction. It's just where the reactants are swimming around it. So if you're trying to react with that, you're going to get the problem. It's not the way it works. Okay? So, HBr. Like um, I was telling Bridget earlier, you have to remember strong acid, okay? Whenever you have a strong acid, that's going to react first. So you've got to find where the base is. If you have an acid and you only have one other uh, reactant, then that other reactant is the base, okay? So this thing over here is the base. Now you've got to discover where your arrows on that base are going to come from, okay? So they're either going to come from something with a lone pair or a double bond, okay? Or a high bond, okay? Do you have lone pairs in this molecule here? That's a question for you all. Do you have lone pairs? No. Do you have a pi bond in there? No. Yes, you do. Yes, that's a double bond. Okay. So where are the electrons going to come from? The double bond. That's where it's going to deprotonate the. So if you don't know what a double bond is, pi bonds and stuff, you're not going to be able to do mechanism. Okay. So ah, there's an H here and an H here. So Markovnikov it will add either way. Okay. I'm just going to do it this way. So we can show. So those are the two arrows. Okay. So again, we've done this reaction many, many times. So hopefully by now you're getting pretty sick of this mechanism because you've done it so many times. Okay. So we can get that carbocation on there. The R minus there. Or we could have, oh, I'll just draw it again down here. Done that. Got the other product, or the other intermediate product of that connection, which would be that. And then it'll be on the Okay, if you go to this one, um, did it say the major product? I don't remember. Um, we'll, we'll do all of the products, okay? This will be the minor, this will be a minor product, okay? Now, it's just going to attack the positive charge like that. And excluding stereochemistry, of course, excuse me, which I'm sure this problem is, I would have said, includes stereochemistry. Because, of course, there's one stereoisomer with the forward and one with the back, but this one isn't indicated either. So there's going to be a number of diastereomers. Okay, so that would be one product. Then you could get um, another product from just the bromine attacking there. Okay, that would be a different product. Probably actually maybe in a, a similar proportion to that product. This product might actually even be more um, major than this one because of the steric encumbrance next door. So you got a methyl group next to that problem. But um, then there's going to be another product coming from this um, intermediate. And I'll just show that over here. So we're going to show that intermediate again. So we got that positive charge there. Well, that's a secondary carbocation, but you'd probably prefer to have a tertiary. So if you can do that, then the molecule will do that. So you got a um, hydrogen there, right? You're going to do a one-two hydride shift like that. You're going to get your 
tertiary carbocation like that. And of course, we still had that Br minus hanging out, waiting to attack. And it'll just attack that, and it'll give you your third product. Okay, yeah. So, and if it said do the mechanism for any of the products, well, you could have done any of those. Okay. Any questions on that? So, it's again, it's just the same things we've been going over and over and over. So, um, if you're having trouble with this type of a problem, I would recommend that you um, just continue to work on mechanism. Okay? Okay. Thank you.